This is Sarah Elliott with the Coalition of Small Business Innovators. I'm here today with Gil Van Bocklin. Gil, can you tell me a little bit about Athersys? Sure, well Athersys is a biotechnology company that's focused on developing innovative medicines to treat significant areas of unmet medical needs. So things like heart disease, neurological conditions like stroke, uh, other forms of neurological damage as well, uh, and also in inflammatory and immune disease. So we're really heavily focused in an area called regenerative medicine, which is the use of things like adult stem cells or other types of therapeutic interventions to treat these diseases that conventional medical treatments really don't have an answer for. Okay. And would you say how would you say you're interplaying with the innovation in America? Why is that so important? Um, what's th that scene looking like these days? Yeah, well, innovation is really critical to addressing the major challenges that we face in healthcare. If you think about it, we're really confronted with some major, unprecedented problems and challenges, especially with the aging of a population where we know that the, the segment of the population over the age of 65 is going to increase by more than 80 percent between 2010 and 2030. That means we're going to go from 40 million people to more than 72 million people that fit into that age bracket. That's also the group that's most susceptible to a whole range of aging-related diseases and conditions. Innovation can actually help us address those areas of unmet medical need in several important ways. It can actually allow us to develop therapies that effectively treat those types of conditions. It will allow us to improve patient quality of life and family quality of life because many of these conditions don't just impact the patients themselves, they impact the, the family members that are called upon to care for them. And perhaps most importantly, it will allow us to actually shift the cost curve in the right direction so we can actually improve healthcare economics. Innovation is central to achieving all of those goals. That's great. And how would you say tax code changes, helping helping companies that are maybe pre-revenue or 10 years out from market, how could how could changes or you know assist them moving forward? Well, again, those types of changes are are desperately needed reforms that will allow increased investment into the innovative areas that are likely to have the greatest impact. The reality of it is, is that there are elements of our tax code that need to be updated or we need to think about them a little bit differently to promote and incentivize investment into these types of areas. And the time for action is now because the reality of it is, is that it'll take a while for these things to have their full effect. We want to see the changes actually implemented sooner rather than later so that we can promote investment, encourage economic growth and development, and ultimately have the kind of impact on our healthcare system that we know we can have. That's great. Um, how does the search for capital affect your day-to-day -day business activity? Is that something that you have to spend a lot of time doing currently? or For emerging companies in the biotechnology industry, it's kind of a constant search for capital, if you will. So taking legislative steps and thinking about ways that we can actually improve access to capital for emerging companies that are doing the most innovative research is absolutely critical to ensuring our long-term success. We really need to, to see these types of changes implemented so that these companies have a better chance at becoming successful, developing these new therapies that will allow us to address the problems that we face. Great. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, I think bio is playing a, an incredibly important role in the coalition of organizations that have come together to really focus on these types of changes and the, the necessary improvements to our, our tax system, if you will, uh, because it's going to improve investment in a lot of different areas. It's not just going to touch healthcare, it's going to touch healthcare medicine and many, many other areas. And I think that um, we really need to focus attention on these things and actually make these changes become a reality as soon as possible. That's great. Thank you. This is Sarah Elliott joining Bill Van Bocklin from Athersys. We appreciate your time today, Gil. Thank you.